Okay, here we are at Vincennes University in Vincennes, Indiana, visiting uh, the Advanced Manufacturing Technician Program that's part of the Indiana Fame activity here. Indiana Fame is a, is a cooperative uh, program between uh, a group of manufacturers, including Toyota, and uh, Vincennes University to offer the Advanced Manufacturing Technician Program. We're just going to take a quick impromptu tour of the Advanced Manufacturing Center. That's a special uh, open emulation learning environment that was designed and established uh, specifically for the AMT program and it's featured at each one of the 22 colleges which offer the program today. So let's see what it looks like uh, in, uh, in the Indiana program. As we enter the AMC, the first thing that we see is a AMT professional greeting poster or an AMT professional greeting poster. This is actually a copy of one of the AMT pocket cards and the pocket cards are uh, one of the signature learning activities that are part of the AMT program. We also see the area map that is part of establishing uh, the AMC uh, as a model 5S environment. So we can see the area map and right below it we see a zone map for robotics and if we look beyond this we can see some of the robots. If we just turn to the left we see the grade and the attendance tracking board. Uh, and then just to the right of that, another AMT pocket card or a copy of one of the uh, pocket cards. These, this is really good. These are displayed as full posters to make it very visible on a continuous basis for uh, the students and everyone who works in this AMC. Let's turn this way and walk down. Uh, we're gonna see a group of robots and some other automated machines here. We also see a number of computers, which is part of their computer lab, which is one of the requirements of, uh, of uh, the AMC. There are six minimum requirements of the AMC. We'll see if we see them all in here as we walk around. Continuing our tour, we come to the centerpiece, the Advanced Manufacturing Simulator. This is a 480 volt industrial grade machine uh, that was designed for this specific type of learning. Uh, one of these is featured in each one of the uh, program AMCs. If the program is not there, then the group is working on uh, obtaining the machine, but it's actually at most of the programs. We also see another robot here. <laughs> Continuing around, two more ABB robots. This program in particular has a lot of robots. It's very robot intensive. Continuing, we see a caged cell, very industrially realistic. And within these cages, we see a couple of Yasukawa robots. And their controllers. Continuing over, we see a lot of uh, metal blanks here used for welding. I highly suspect that these are used with the Yasukawa welding robots uh, for student activities. And then on this table, a long row of PLCs. PLC training is another one of the minimum requirements of the AMC and so we see it featured right here. Continuing down we see continual mapping of this so this is part of the 5S system. This entire center is supposed to be mapped from that original uh, zone map that you saw right down or from the original area map that you saw at the door right down to the zone maps in the center. Here we see uh, some cabinets that are used for electrical wiring trainer, probably motor control training uh, in the AMC. Continuing around, we see more of these trainers and aha, more robots. I'm not sure that any of our uh, AMCs are as robot rich as uh, our Indiana program is. So continuing on, we see a little bit more of how this training is set up. These are Motoman robots by the way. So, so far we've seen ABB, Yasukawa, Motoman. I know another brand is upcoming. Continuing around. Aha. Uh -huh. Again, for keeping uh, con this continuously visible, we see more uh, posters that match the pocket cards in the, uh, in the training program. The pocket cards, of course, 
reinforce some of the key training in this program that goes beyond technology. There are three pieces of core training in AMT. Technology, like all technical programs have, but then beyond that, we have what are known as the professional behaviors, and then we also have the manufacturing core exercises, which are practices on the work floor. Uh, this program looks at building the entire person and not just at increasing their technical knowledge. So taking a quick look at this, here's our safety card and our safety theme for the program. Uh, our driving choice cards, watch your drive to make the right choice. Manufacturing core exercise number two, visual workplace organization, or it's known to some as 5S. Manufacturing core exercise number three, lean manufacturing. We can kind of see it there in the corner. Uh, with that, you'll notice the house of TPS, TPS being the Toyota production system, the original uh, driver of uh, what became lean manufacturing. Manufacturing core exercise number four, problem solving, uh, strengthening analytical thinking, critical thinking, and then manufacturing core exercise number five, machine reliability. Actually, this is why we're here this week is we're teaching uh, uh, the machine reliability course to a set of instructors who will in turn be teaching at their college campuses. They're here today from uh, Kentucky, Indiana, and Louisiana. More robots. Now we have some Kawasaki robots, and you'll notice these are very large robots and are also, again, caged, so they have to be locked out and tagged out. Continuing our walk, here is another set of robots. Two rows of them. We see this row. We see this row. Behind us, we see controllers. Again, you're seeing industrial-grade, realistic training here. But also as we walk down this robot, notice that continuing to reinforce safety culture, the light's a little tough here, but what we call CHIPS, one of the safety culture activities in the AMT program. So this is gonna be backwards, but think CHIPS, so always use the stair, handrail, stop, look, and point at intersections. Be sure you use those intersections no hands in pockets so if you fall you can more effectively uh, catch yourself and no cell phones while walking very difficult to see in the light <laughs> sorry about that uh, continuing around we see additional training so again an industrial industrially realistic machine that we have we have the AMT management area the communication boards one for each class here is the class of 2016. It's good to keep in mind that AMT classes are numbered by their starting year and not their graduating year. So you'll see on here that we have information, we have the safety commitments of the students, we have an activities calendar, we have the audit sheet for safety and 5S audits, we have the KYT schedule and also some additional 5S information. For the class of 2017, we also see their calendars, some additional items they've put uh, up here. We see their audit uh, board, uh, a little bit blank. I'm hoping that they're being active with it. It might be because this is after the semester and it's just been cleared. We can see uh, where they have been scheduling their AMT safety discussions, sometimes called KYTs. We can see a board around their pocket cards, continuous improvement, and a cool safety slogan that they have come up with. And no surprise, more robots. So continuing back around, we come back to the beginning. And here's just a broad view of the entire AMC. So this is an example, a very well done example of a typical AMT program, Advanced Manufacturing Center, Open Emulation Learning Environment.